Welcome back to another episode of Rock Boys Football. Some breaking news coming out of the Miami Hurricanes football program as they add quarterback from Albany, Reese Puffenberger, in the transfer portal. And there are a lot of different takes and a lot of different opinions that you'll get from the Miami Hurricanes making this move. And I've seen Twitter and I've seen the message boards and I see a lot of frustration. I'm going to say this right now. I don't necessarily blame the Miami Hurricane fans for being somewhat frustrated about how this quarterback pursuit has gone down, right? You went from going after Cam Ward and Will Howard, two of the more coveted quarterbacks that were available in the transfer portal, to pivoting to a guy from coming from the FCS level that you turn on the film. There are some exciting things that I want to talk about that Reese brings to the table, but the whole conversation around Miami and going after a quarterback was to – raise the floor of this quarterback room, bringing in a quarterback that you know what they are, you know what they're going to bring to this offense. And Reese making the jump from the FCS level to that power five level is, I don't know if you're necessarily adding a floor. So I want to have a couple different conversations. One, what they saw in Reese, because again, there are some exciting things I do want to talk about after watching a few Albany games back and then have that conversation about where to go with the quarterback room for the Miami Hurricanes, because I have a feeling that this is not the last quarterback that they'll be pursuing in the transfer portal. Excited to get into this one. Appreciate you guys rocking with it. Before we get into it, just wanted to say thank you to you guys and a shout out to the Miami Hurricane fans. This is a, a program and a conversation that we've had a ton over the last couple of weeks and the amount of support you guys have shown, all the comments you guys have given, it, it means a lot. This is something I love doing. I love talking to this program and you guys showing the support, allowing me to do this. It means a ton. If you guys do enjoy the content, whether you agree, whether you disagree, consider subscribing to the channel. Would love to hear how you guys are feeling about this move in the comment section. And without further ado, let's get into Reese Puffenberg. And I want to start off with some of the pauses right now. You have a quarterback committed to the Miami Hurricanes. Let's talk about what he brings to the table first. And then we'll talk about maybe some shortcomings that we've seen with Miami in the transfer portal a little bit later. And the first thing I want to talk about, and for the Miami fans that have listened to me the last couple of weeks evaluate all the different names in the transfer portal at the quarterback position is, it, do they win football games, right? And we have this conversation, whether he's coming from a Power 5 program, a Group of 5 program, an FCS level, or evaluating quarterbacks from the high school ranks. It is important to have quarterbacks that have experience winning football games, and Reese Puffenberger brings that to the table. Right in 2022, his first year starting, they only won three games. And being from Rochester, New York, knowing a little bit about this Albany football program, this is not a football team that wins a ton of games at the FCS level. In 2023, as the full time starter, they won 11 games, made the semifinals of the FCS playoffs. They were extremely good in 2023. And largely, it had to deal with Reese Puffenberger being a gamer at the quarterback position. This is a guy that was extremely productive in 2023. Had over 3,600 yards, 36 touchdown passes, led the FCS in passing yards in 2023. And when you turn on the film, what are the things that you notice from Reese Puffenberger and partially why I think Miami went after this kid in the first place is one, he's a gamer. Like he's a, a guy that can make a lot of things happen on the football field that quite frankly, when you look back and evaluate Tyler Van Dyke, Tyler Van Dyke didn't have that ability. Right When things broke down and you needed your quarterback to extend the play and kind of make something happen out of nothing, Tyler Van Dyke couldn't do that. You see that all over Reese Puffenberger's film. Right, He's breaking the pocket. He's extending plays. He's throwing on the run. He's throwing off platform. He's making it happen with his legs down the field as well. At the end of the day, yes, he, he is probably six foot or less. He doesn't have a cannon of an arm but he wins football games and he makes things happen for an offense. And he was largely the reason why Albany had so much success in 2023. So there are some things that do excite you because he can make some things happen on a football field that is going to translate from the FCS level to that power five. And you'll get a lot of people say, well, yeah, that's FCS film. Yeah, I get that. We, we, we've, we've watched guys at the high school level and try to project into the power five. Well, some of those playmaking abilities and the ability to push the ball down the field off platform, on the run, that type of playmaking, that's that's him. And that's what he's going to bring to the power five level. And you have a good feeling that some of that stuff is going to translate. Now, the disappointing conversation for Miami fans, because there are really two sides of viewing this. And you guys know I normally like to be extremely optimistic about recruits coming in, guys in the transfer portal, because that's 
really what it's about. That's what the off season is about is talking about what to be excited for, whether the guys coming from the high school ranks coming from the transfer portal, there's a conversation like that to be had with Reese as well. Now there are going to be a lot of Miami fans that are upset with how this went down as well. And I 100% cannot blame them. And like we said at the top, you went from going after Cam Ward and Will Howard, two of the more coveted quarterbacks that were available in the portal, to pivoting to a guy like Reese who's coming from the FCS level. And there were a lot of good other good quarterback options that I, I thought would have been really good additions to this Miami Hurricanes offense. Right, We talked about Jaden Delora from Arizona. We talked about a guy like Jordan McLeod from JMU. And the fact that Mario Cristobal went from Cam Ward and Will Howard all the way to Reese Puffenberger from Albany is somewhat frustrating. And especially because, one, you have a lot of resources at your disposal in terms of recruitment. But more importantly, this was a really appealing spot for a veteran quarterback to come in and, one, boost their NFL draft stock, and, two, have chances to play in the college football playoffs and win an ACC championship. You guys know how I feel about this Miami Hurricanes roster in 2024, right? Very good offensive line. Some, some serious playmakers on the outside and guys like Xavier Restrepo, a really good running game. This, in my opinion, had to have been one of the most attractive landing spots for a veteran quarterback that was in the transfer portal, right? Guys like Cam Ward, Will Howard, who are looking for that last year of eligibility to increase their draft stock and to win a lot of football games at the highest level. And, and the fact that it went from Cam Ward and Will Howard all the way down to, to Reese Puffenberger, that's what is the most frustrating. Because, okay, you, you strike out on Cam Ward. That was a very unfortunate situation where you kind of put all your eggs in that basket and, and it fell through. You look at some other quarterback options that could have dramatically raised the floor of this Hurricanes quarterback room. Guys like Jordan McLeod, guys like Jaden Delora, they didn't go after those guys. And so that's probably what is the most frustrating aspect about this is you went from going after some real top targets to what largely feels like kind of settling here for a guy like Reese. Now, there are some things that we talked about that you're excited about, but I understand the frustration for a lot of Miami Hurricane fans with this commitment. I've seen Twitter. I've seen the message boards. Now, the last conversation I want to have is, is this Miami's last move in the transfer portal as it relates to the quarterback position? I, I don't think so. I think one of the reasons why they bring in Reese is, hey, we don't want to, we wanted to add a quarterback into this room but we don't want to wait for a guy like Tully is waiver to get approved or not. And then you wait a couple of weeks and it doesn't get approved. And now you're really holding an empty bag. So I think they wanted to add a quarterback into this room. Two things I want to talk about. One, if Tully is waiver gets approved, which I, it sounds like it, it will, right? Alan Bowman got approved for a seventh year. Cam rising got approved for a seventh year. They're approving some of these uh, older quarterbacks that are looking for another year of eligibility. It sounds like both Maryland and Alabama, both who aren't in the ACC, so they don't really have a stake in whether Tully is playing against them or not, are working to get him that extra year. I would be very surprised if Miami doesn't turn up the heat on a guy like Tully if and when that waiver gets approved. And then secondly, I, I think the Miami Hurricanes in the future of this quarterback room, I think this is kind of the timeline. And this is if Talia's waiver doesn't get approved as you go into spring practice with a guy like Reese, with a guy like JB and Emery Williams, and you see how those guys progress. And I think JB is a guy that a, a lot of Miami fans are excited for in terms of the traits that he brings. He is still extremely raw, hasn't played a ton of football at the power five level, but you see some things that you really like. And so what Miami might do is, all right, we're going to go through our 15 spring practices. We're going to evaluate in all these, these spring meetings and say at the end of our, our 15 spring practice window, 15 spring practice window, you should say, do we need to go get a quarterback? Because there will be some quarterbacks that enter in the transfer portal during that time, that lose position battles at other programs that would be really good fits for this Miami Hurricanes offense. And so I, I don't think this is the end move for Miami in the transfer portal at the quarterback position. There, I think there are a lot of things to be exciting. You guys can see the the little bit of conflict I have with talking about this, because I, I do think it's a little bit of a disappointment in terms of where Miami was going for and what they ended up with. But there are some things that I am excited about with Reese. And I don't want to just completely throw him to the side and say, oh, this is a complete bust. So we'll see and continue to monitor where Miami decides to go in that quarterback room, regardless if you guys are a fan of it, if you're not a fan of it. Appreciate you guys rocking with the boys, listening to some of my takes 
I'm Reese. We'll continue to talk about this quarterback battle, this quarterback situation for the Miami Hurricanes. Appreciate y'all rocking with it. Again, if you guys do enjoy the content, consider subscribing to the channel. More importantly, would love to hear from you guys in the comment section on your thoughts, your takes on this move for the Miami Hurricanes. Appreciate you guys, and we'll talk to y'all later.